All right, welcome back to Good Morning Arkansas. We're joined this morning by Dr. Morgan Sauer with the St. Vincent Longevity Institute. Doctor, thanks for being here. Good morning, thanks for having me. A lot of people are heading into this holiday season with kind of a sense of dread because they've lost someone close to them over the past year and this is the first time to make new memories without that person and they don't really relish or want to do that. Is that the source of a lot of people's depression this time of year? There's really kind of two categories that you can break this into. The first one is grief. And it doesn't have to be grief over a person. It can be the loss of a job, the loss of financial status, the loss of an idea. It can be any type of grief. And the holidays, the time of family and sharing and remembering can be really tough for people going through grief. This is an important season to get through. It's one of the major seasons of emotion in U.S. culture. So if we can help people get through this time, they're going to make it. The other thing that can happen is winter time can be really tough for people. Um, we as humans are sun-based creatures. Our internal clocks are set by the sun, but our emotions are definitely affected by the sun as well. And as the sun is not out nearly as much as it used to be, uh, the 21st I believe is the shortest day of the year, it can cause people to feel sad just not have the get up and go, the energy, almost a depression, and it's called seasonal affective disorder. Sad. And mm -hmm. uh, sad, so when you say seasonal depression, it can relate to the lack of sunshine or it can relate to the holidays and what come, what goes along with that. Typically for seasonal affective disorder, it's just, it's a routine thing that happens every year during this time of year. For grief, that's going to be kind of spot specific. Okay. So it's true that the season can affect one's mood. Absolutely. And you'll see when, when green starts to come on the trees, the weather starts to warm up, the people who have SAD start to wake up as well. It's kind of like they're in, a, in an emotional hibernation. You've offered a couple of explanations for what some call the winter blues. Mm -hmm. Are there other things that can bring on the winter blues? We've got to be careful around the holidays. Alcohol intake. Um, when you look at cultures who live north of the Arctic Circle, like Iceland, they have an amazing rate of alcoholism. Alcohol while it makes us maybe feel a little bit good or feel a little bit relaxed at a party, certainly is a well-known depressant. And people around the holidays may drink more than normal. And that certainly can cause depression as well. Changing our, app, our, our behaviors. We spend time shopping, we don't have that get up and go, and we don't exercise as much. Exercise is just as effective for treatment of depression as our medications. So when we don't exercise, we're more likely to feel down and blue and just not the way we normally should. All right, so there's some explanations. Also, I, I see in some families uh, a lot of internal conflict and strife, especially where there's divorce is concerned, spending time Christmas Eve at one place, Christmas Day at the mm -hmm. other, all this handing off of kids. Or even worse, when the in-laws show up. Yeah, right, and when you're entertaining guests, I mean, there can be a lot of uh, conflict that is associated with the holidays to manage. It's a, it's a very stressful time, and there's two types of stress. Stress that we can't do anything about, the flu, traffic, the year, or stress that we can manage what we're going to do for the holidays, what are the plans, and we've got to take personal responsibility to make sure that we have a good holiday, to remove some of that stress. What can people do to help make themselves feel better if they feel sad coming on, if they mm -hmm. just are kind of, you know, emotionally twisted or struggling? Mm -hmm. It's really hard. The first thing to do is definitely continue to be social. Get out and do things with people. Don't let yourself fall into that trap. It's almost like quicksand. You get in, you get up to your ankles, and you slowly keep sinking. Don't do that. Go out. Be with friends. Be with people. I strongly recommend volunteer efforts. Volunteering helps you feel good. People who volunteer have a longer lifespan and have an overall better quality of life and better health. It's also wonderful for helping those feelings of sadness. Uh, number three, exercise. This is definitely the time to get into the gym. Go to the mall, do mall walking. Go out with other people and exercise. Um, limit the amount of alcohol consumption. Uh, try and remain in good health and good eating patterns even though all the good things are out there on the table. Definitely look at spirituality. Christmas is a very spiritual season, the holiday season for many religions, and spirituality is very often neglected in our health care. It can be used to strengthen us, to give, her a, to give us a closer um, commitment and a closer relationship to a higher power that can certainly help that 
type of sensation. And not for hope when hope is needed. Religion, almost all religions are based on love. And people, when they feel loved, that they give love and receive love, people feel better. All right, Dr. Morgan Sauer is at St. Vincent, specifically the Longevity Institute. If you uh, are interested in what he's saying and have some questions or like to hear more from him, you can contact the Longevity Center at 835-0703. Doc, thanks for being here. Thanks. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas to you.